Welcome back guys to my channel. So today I have a special video for you like the most requested video right now about the um, parole form I-134A. So um, without further ado, let's get to it. So with this app, the CBP1 app, so uh, we can start by downloading first. So the, uh, the beneficiary will need to download this application, of course, um, not the um, sponsor, right? So once they uh, download the app, if they have Android or um, iPhone, so they can download the app to the app store. So uh, once they do that, and then they can create the account using the email address, um, create the username, you can use the email address has a username, and then create a long password that has at least um, 12 to 15 characters. So once you create the, um, the account, while you're creating, while you're creating your, your account, they're gonna ask you to use your email to choose your language. It depends on the country you're in. So once you um, do that, and then um, you'll be able to access the application using your um, username and password that you create while logging into this um, application, right? After you enter your email address, and then there you're gonna you're gonna hit submit. Once you submit this, and then um, they will send you an email to add to your to your email address, so you can continue the setup. Right? It's straightforward. Please follow what follow the prompt, follow the um, whatever they, they they said on the email to create your account successfully. So for this category, we're going to talk about the USS, the first notice you're going to receive. So the first notice, um, what's going to be in the notice? Let's take a quick look at the notice so um, we all can have a clear idea, you know, what's in it. So uh, the first notice, the USS will ask you to create an email account. This is the beneficiary. This is the email account. This is the, the US, USS account for the beneficiary to confirm where they live and then confirm that they have received COVID vaccine. Um, and then uh, what is, so this form has, this form will expire. So you have to do this within 90 days. So under your, uh, the USCIS at, um, profile, you're going to create our, our account. So um, the beneficiary will be able to, um, to add all the information so um, to this. So once you created the account, so um, the, the beneficiary is gonna have a USCIS um, account number, and then um, and also on the first notice, there's an alien number that we're gonna need to continue for the request for the travel um, uh, part that we're going to request for travel authorization, right? So um, if you look at here, what we're go going to do is um, continue to the app. When you continue on the application, what's gonna happen? What are you going to see? So first is going to see, um, you have to log into the CBP app because remember we created an account already. So you have to use that account to log into the CBP app to continue to enter all your information. So when you first open the application, you're going to see that um, the app is going to ask you, who are you? So you have to select the traveler. So the traveler, which is uh, who is the, uh, the beneficiary or the person that's going to travel. So um, also you have to mention that you're going to travel by air. So that means you're going to fly, right? So make sure that you, you, you follow what's on the screen step by step until you get to what you need. So the second step will be the, um, you're going to um, request, this is all where they're going to ask you to put your information, right? advanced travel authorization so basically using the cbp app you're going to use it to request um, advanced travel authorization this is what it is and then you're going to add all the information that uh, um, they ask you on the application so they can grant the beneficiary access to travel so we so the cbp app you we use it to ask or to request uh, travel authorization so the third step so they're gonna ask you to enter, or they're gonna, I won't ask the beneficiary to enter the alien number. The A number is basically on the application number, you will see it. So the beneficiary, the sponsor should be able to give that to the beneficiary, right? 
Um, the fourth step is to scan your passport. So the beneficiary are going to scan their passport on the application and then once the scan is going to upload to the system, so USS or the immigration will have the um, um, would have all the information they need about the beneficiary so they'll be able to travel easily with all the information that um, USS collect from them. But uh, uh, also they're going to ask you to um, enter to take a picture of yourself. That means the beneficiary will need to enter to, to take a picture to the application, the CVP application to after they upload the um, the passport, they're going to take a picture so they can verify that that's the, that that's the person, right? After that, you enter the um, uh, after that after um, the beneficiary enter all that information. So um, the system is going to verify everything, and then the beneficiary has to review everything that the passport number is correct. The system save all the information and all, all the information correctly. Right. Once you do that, and then um, the beneficiary going to hit submit. Once the beneficiary submit, and then it's all good to go. Now we have to wait for USS or immigration to approve this request. Right. Let's go to the next step. Security travel authorization that we requested using the CBP app, and then as you can see on the screen, that person was granted was approved to travel to the U.S. So once you're tra approved to travel, you have 90 days to travel to the US or this form going to be expired. Once it's expired, you cannot travel. You not, cannot come, we have to reapply for you. But um, we have to do that you know, within three months, 90 days. So come to the US and then um, the next step will be one is to buy the ticket for the beneficiary so that person can travel to the United States and then um, we're going to purchase the ticket for you. We'll call you, give you the ticket number so you can um, pack your bag and then um, make sure you, you arrive at the airport two hours early so you can come, come to the US. So when you get to the border, that means um, not, I mean, once you get to the US or the port of entry, excuse me, um, you go, they're going to ask you a lot of questions. So all the questions they're going to ask is everything that you provided on the application to make sure that all the application everything you entered uh, um, was correct and then was accurate and then um, once you do that they're gonna check everything check your passport check you in and then um, you will be in the US already so we have to pick you up you know I don't know on which airport so it can be New York you know Florida you know Texas um, it depends you know but um, yeah so it, it's a, it's an easy process so this process can take um you know up to three four months but um from what i've seen here people are coming here pretty quick and and again um as you can see we have people that already came with this process so this is a great uh uh uh, uh, uh process great time great opportunity to sponsor someone to come to the u.s if you guys can do it do it so um Thank you for watching. Thank you for your likes. Um, thank you for comments. Thank you for sharing my videos. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Um, thank you so much.